the semi-annual sale. And the reason it's so short and it doesn't have the top of it is because I folded it down so you guys wouldn't see my address or where the, where the address was of the Bath and Body Works that I went to. Um, it's not that I don't trust you guys, it's just you never know who watches my videos and what kind of creepers are on YouTube, you know? Just saying. <laughs> you know who you are. Um, anyway, <sighs> this receipt was from the semi-annual sale. It was from the 28th, if you're wondering and you're trying to look at where it was or what it was. But, um, about $23 worth of stuff, that, that was when I went a different time, and, um... So this video is going to be on how to return things from Bath and Body Works because um, you're probably wondering what they do and how to do it and whatever. So I had Midnight Pomegranate Body Lotion and Dark Kiss Body Lotion and um, what I did was I didn't like them so I decided I was going to return them. So I went to the store and everything and then I got in line and everything and I, I returned them but then I was wondering hey am I gonna get cash back or whatever so I looked at this receipt there's my sailor necklace again don't don't mind that one it says all Bath and Body Works um or at Bath and Body Works no sale is ever final we have a hundred percent satisfaction guarantee if you're not completely satisfied with your purchase you may return it to our Bath and Body Works stores. You will be eligible for these options. If you have the original receipt, the original receipt, you an exchange or refund will be issued based on the original tender. So that means what you bought it for, that means what you what you bought it for. That means what that's what you're gonna get back. And you're not gonna get a gift card, you're gonna get cash. So that's just what that means. Um you may return it to our or well sorry. <laughs> All applicable promotions, offers, free items, and coupons granted at the time of the purchase will be applied to the refund amount. Debit card or credit card purchases will be credited back to the card. If the card is not present, a merchandise credit will be issued. Um, if you have no receipt, refunds are based on the current selling price of the item. An exchange or merchandise credit will be issued. So if you bought something that was five dollars but then it's on sale for three dollars right now you're gonna get the three dollars I'm sorry but you should have brought your receipt um, if you have a gift receipt um, an exchange or merchandise credit will be issued for the purchase price on the gift receipt or gift um, item so that means if you got a gift from somebody and you don't have the receipt because it was a gift but you have the price on the item and it says like five dollars because it was like a travel size item or something then that means that you're going to get $5 back in store credit, which they give you a little card that says merchandise store credit card. It's basically like a gift card, but you can use it in that store, and it's only for a certain amount. So instead of being like $5, it could be like $3.87, really random numbers like that. Um, let's see. Um, for questions or concerns, not concerns, Please contact Customer Relations at 1-800-395-1001. So if you have any questions about returning things, if you didn't get what I'm saying, then you can call that number and ask. So thanks. Bye. <laughs> we should just... No! Where's our seat? Okay, let's go. Okay, wait, I was recording. <laughs>